James Bell of the Boxing Source here with another video. And this video here is to talk about Devin the Dream Haney. Of course, you know, a lot of boxing fans have pretty much heard about what Devin Haney uh, said in a um, conversation uh, through StreamYard and, uh, that was posted on YouTube uh, with a um, you know person that is... Uh, that has a YouTube channel. Uh, Devin Haney was there with his father, Bill Haney, and he basically uh, repeated a line that had been used years ago by Bernard Hopkins or B Hop. Um, I think it was that Devin Haney was talking about Lomachenko or, or someone like that, and he says, like, to the extent of, I'll never let a white boy beat me. And it seems like that particular comment has, you know, brought up a lot of backlash over the past, uh, what has it been, since uh, yesterday. And he kind of like goes into this whole thing about boxing and how boxing has marketed or has been marketed over the course of time. This is not anything new uh, when it comes to the sport of boxing. I mean, we had a recent example of this. When you had the fight between Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, that was February 22nd. Uh, leading into that particular fight, you had Deontay Wilder talking about uh, Tyson Fury was going to be part of a black history uh, trivia question or something like that. Um, and like I said before, in reference to the fight between Bernard Hopkins and Joe Tauzog, um before that fight, when they were face-to-face, -face, Bernard Hopkins said to him, I'll never let a white boy beat me. Um, and the thing is, is that race has been a key component in marketing for the sport of boxing. Uh, so when it comes to building up fights, uh, particularly fights of a certain level of magnitude, race is sometimes brought in in order to, you know, get fans in there. Uh, so in this particular case with Devin Haney, uh, him saying what he said is, you know, kind of like going into that to a certain extent. Uh, but, you know, after he said that, he, you know, immediately uh, posted uh, on his Twitter account that uh, he's not racist and, he, you know, never been racist. Uh, so uh, he knows the extent of, you know, what he said. Um, but... Sometimes when it comes to stuff like that, uh, the damage is already done and it kind of like puts him in a villain stature. So you have to see what happens uh, with this in reference to uh, that. And, uh, you know, as of, you know, a few hours ago, you know, with the um, backlash of what he was saying, that Devin Haney did post that uh, he had a conversation with uh, Suleiman and uh, he basically said that he conf he confirms that uh, he will be committed to being a role model and that he completely rejects uh, discrimination of any kind. Uh, so, you know, that just goes to show that, you know, him being at the age that he's in, he knows that Sometimes there are some things that are said that could have uh, damaging ramifications. So uh, with his uh, comment that was, you know, posted on social media um, and now that it had basically taken over the boxing airwaves that he's like, oh, I know that I pretty much, you know, slipped there with that comment and now I have to do what needs to be done in order to clean myself up because deep down Devin Haney's a good guy but when it comes to the sport of boxing and when it comes to marketing sometimes there are some things that you do in order to get the attention that may be needed to garner the money that you want to get and the story of being a villain always sells a lot more than being the good guy when it comes to the sport of boxing. Have you seen that with Floyd Mayweather? 
you see that with Adrian Broner, and it seems like now uh, you're kind of getting a little bit of that with Devin Haney, but it's not quite there yet. So we'll see what happens uh, when boxing gets back up to speed, and we'll see what uh, Devin Haney has in store uh, when he returns to the ring. That's what I got in reference to this particular topic. You can subscribe to the Boxing Source here on YouTube. You can also catch the Boxing Source radio show live 7.30 on Sundays or catch the podcast on Anchor.fm, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Spotify, whatever your favorite podcast app is. Most likely, the podcast will be on it. All right? So on that note, folks, I'm out. Peace.